गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी पार्ट थ्री ऑफ चैप्टर वन द ऑब्जेक्टिव फॉर टुडे इज विल बी एबल टू एक्सप्लेन डार्विन्स थ्योरी ऑफ एवोल्यूशन एंड डिस्कस नोम क्लेचर ऑफ प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स ओके सो द वर्ड्स डार्विन थ्योरी ऑफ एवोल्यूशन एंड नोम क्लेचर माइट बी न्यू टू यू डो नॉट वरी विल डिस्कस अबाउट दम इन टूडेज क्लास ओके first uh, let's understand what is evolution uh, now when i was a small kid like you i used to watch a cartoon show called pokemon okay i don't know if uh, you guys are aware of this cartoon show if you are aware it's good if not let me explain uh, what was this show about okay so this is where i first learned the word evolution okay now in the show we used to have different animals called as pokemon and my favorite pokemon was this and it was called as charmander okay and now in the show what happened was as charmander got older instead of becoming bigger in size it changed or transformed into another pokemon and this process was called as evolution and once charmander becomes older it becomes a new pokemon which was known as charmeleon okay similarly when charmeleon got older it evolved into another pokemon known as charlizard okay now this process was called as evolution and this was the first time i learned about evolution okay uh, now let's come back to the real world okay and understand what is evolution in real world okay now in real world too we can see plants and animals change रियल वर्ल्ड में भी हम देखते हैं प्लांट्स और एनिमल्स को चेंज होते हुए द ओनली डिफरेंस इज इट टेक्स अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम इसमें बहुत टाइम लगता है ठीक है जैसे कार्टून में होता था एक लाइफ टाइम में ही वो लोग चेंज हो जाता है डिफरेंट डिफरेंट पोकेमोन्स में ऐसा रियल लाइफ में नहीं होता रियल लाइफ में इट टेक्स अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम ओके लेट्स सी द पिक्चर ओवर हियर एज यू कैन सी दिस इज अ पिक्चर ऑफ अ जिराफ ओके सो मिलियंस ऑफ ईयर्स अगो सैकड़ों साल पहले ओके जिराफ यूज टू हैव अ शॉर्ट नेक जिराफ का गला छोटा होता था ओके एंड इट यूज टू ईट ग्रास एंड स्मॉल प्लांट्स ओके बट वेन ग्रास गॉट फिनिश्ड ग्रास और छोटे प्लांट्स जब खत्म हो गए ओके द जिराफ सॉ दैट इफ इट्स नेक कोस लॉन्गर इट कैन ईट लीव्स ऑफ ट्री ठीक है अगर जिराफ जिराफ ने देखा कि अगर उसका गला थोड़ा लंबा होता तो वो ट्रीज से लीव्स खा सकता है ओके सो ओवर थाउजेंड्स ऑफ ईयर्स द जिराफ्स फैमिली नेक गॉट लॉन्गर एंड लॉन्गर ठीक है एज यू कैन सी हो दिस जिराफ हैज लिल बिट लॉन्गर नेक दिस जिराफ एज अ स्लाइटली मोर लॉन्गर नेक दिस जिराफ एज अ स्लाइटली मोर लॉन्गर नेक एंड दिस जिराफ एज अ स्लाइटली मोर लॉन्गर नेक सो दिस एवोल्यूशन और चेंज हियर ऑफ द नेक ऑफ द जिराफ हैपन्ड ओवर मिलियंस ऑफ ईयर्स टाइम पीरियड ओके एंड इन टूडेज वर्ल्ड जिराफ इज द एनिमल विथ the longest neck and it eats only leaves of very tall trees okay so if you are asked the question what is evolution okay so this is the answer when an organism slowly adapts or changes over generations it is called as evolution please remember this change or adaptation takes very long time and over generations generations means within families okay so this giraffe is not the same giraffe but little little changes come from parents to son or daughter then to grandchildren then to their great great grandchildren okay so this giraffe might be the great 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 grandchildren of this giraffe okay so this giraffe we can call it as an ancestor ancestor means purvaj okay and this giraffe is the modern family okay now let's uh, see a quick exercise uh, what you have to do here is you have to match the ancestors to their modern family so on one side you have been given ancestor family okay matlab purvaj diye hue hain modern animals ke and on the other side you have the modern animals here so we can recognize this is a modern human this is a crocodile this is tiger on the left hand side you have this animals croc lion saber tooth tiger and ancient human so you have to match which ancestor belongs to which modern family you can pause the video here okay and mark your answers 
uh, i hope you didn't had much doubt over this uh, as you can see uh, even though there are small small changes but you can identify which ancestor belongs to which family kaun kis family ka hai you can identify okay so the first croc lion is the ancestor of modern crocodile okay the saber to tiger is the ancestor of the tiger and the ancient human is the ancestor of modern human okay let's move on uh the next slide asks the question who was charles darwin charles darwin kaun tha so charles darwin was a biologist okay a uh, biologist means a scientist who study and researches about plants and animals okay plants or animals ke bare mein jo scientist padhta hai aur research karta hai that is called as a biologist okay so charles darwin was a biologist from england and he is most famous for his theories on evolution theek hai unhone evolution ke upar kuch theories bataye the theek hai kuch studies kiye the and he is very famous because of those okay let's, let's see what were these theories okay so what is theory of evolution okay the theory of evolution states that all organisms have evolved evolve means change okay or adapted have evolved over time from common ancestor theek hai common means same ancestor means purvaj who is this common ancestor this common ancestor as you can see in this picture was a single cell organism okay from this single cell organism only every organism on this planet was formed okay सारे जीव जंतु एक ही पूर्वज से एवॉल्व होके आ रहे हैं ठीक है एवॉल्व मतलब चेंज होके आ रहे हैं ओके वो पूर्वज जो है हम लोगों का दैट वाज अ सिंगल सेल ऑर्गेनिज्म नाउ लेट्स क्विकली डाइव इनटू द टू मेन प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ थ्योरी ऑफ एवोल्यूशन डार्विन्स फर्स्ट प्रिंसिपल सेज दैट ओनली दोज ऑर्गेनिजम्स सर्वाइव और लिव दैट अडेप्ट टू द चेंजिंग एनवायरमेंट ठीक है वट डज दिस मीन इज वही ऑर्गेनिजम सर्वाइव या फिर जिंदा रहते हैं जो अपने आप को एडेप्ट या चेंज कर पाते हैं अपने सराउंडिंग के साथ ओके दिस प्रिंसिपल इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज प्रिंसिपल ऑफ सर्वाइवल ऑफ द फिटेस्ट इस प्रिंसिपल को दूसरे नाम से भी जाना जाता है दैट नेम इज सर्वाइवल ऑफ द फिटेस्ट प्रिंसिपल ओके एज यू कैन सी इन द पिक्चर हियर okay on your left hand side is a saber tooth tiger and on your right hand side is a modern tiger now the saber tooth tiger was very big in size and had no stripes iske upar stripes nahi the aur iska size kafi bada tha theek hai but soon it was seen that having stripes helps in hiding in the jungle if you have stripes it helps in hiding in the jungle so as you can see in the modern tiger it has a lot of stripes and it can hide easily in the jungle this was not possible for saber tooth tiger theek hai and also having a bigger body means you have to eat more theek hai aapka body bada hoga to aapko zyada khana chahiye right so it was seen that having a bigger body was not beneficial okay so this tiger had to change okay and over time it changed and became a modern tiger which was much smaller in size than a saber tooth tiger and it had stripes okay let's quickly jump into the second principles of darwin's the second principle states that if an organism is born with a new beneficial or useful characteristics and is able to survive okay this characteristic is passed to the next generation iska matlab kya hai agar ek organism ke paas ek useful characteristic aata hai ek useful khasiyat aata hai uske paas okay and wo animal agar zinda reh pata hai wo animal ya fir organism zinda reh pata hai fir wo jo khasiyat rehti hai unme wo unke next generation matlab unke bachcho unke bachcho ke bachcho mein पास हो जाता है ओके एज कैन सी द इमेज ऑफ एलिफेंट ओवर हियर ऑन योर लेफ्ट मोस्ट साइड इज अ एलिफेंट एंसेस्टर ओके एलिफेंट का एंसेस्टर है ये इज अ डिफरेंट एनिमल इट वॉज अ 
ancestor of elephant and on the rightmost side you have the modern elephant right so as you can see on the leftmost side this animal had a very small trunk theek hai unka nag chhota tha okay and soon it was realized that having a trunk was very useful agar aapka nag lamba hota hai elephant ka nag lamba hota hai it was seen that it was very useful to move around things okay so over time its trunk got longer and longer so as you can see in the middle part its trunk is much longer than the first animal right and similarly it grew longer and longer over time and you have the modern elephant which have a very long trunk okay this principle is also called as the principle of natural selection theek hai isko kya bolte hai principle of natural selection i hope you were able to understand the darwin's theory of evolution and its true principle okay now let's quickly jump into second part of today's lesson the second part of today's lesson is we're going to discuss what is nomenclature okay so what is nomenclature let's learn its definition it is a process of giving names to organisms and these names are called as scientific names iska matlab kya hai nomenclature means it is the process of giving names to organism or organisms ko hum naam dete hain and these names are not normal names these are scientific names theek hai inko scientific names bolte hain why is nomenclature important this is a very interesting questions okay uh, so let's understand this due to use of different language all organisms animals or plants around the world had different names iska matlab kya hai apne world mein alag alag language rehte hain right har state har country mein different different languages hain uske chalte har organism ka bhi alag alag naam hota hai alag alag language mein right so to remove this confusion scientists came up with a system to give scientific names to all organism so that there is no confusion theek okay? hai let's see a different example of why nomenclature was important in this example uh, you have a girl okay suppose this is franka devi right and she has a friend and both of them live in mumbai itself so her friend one day ask ki franka where do you live and she replied i live in malvani and since both live in mumbai itself her friend also knows where malvani is right so she says okay i'll come to visit you okay now suppose franka didi has an another friend from different planet okay she has a alien friend and the alien friend wanted to know where does franka didi lives okay and she replies i live in malvani and what do you think the alien will think okay he will be very confused because where is malvani i don't know right so franka didi has to explain to the alien where exactly is malvani if she explains that i live in planet earth okay inside the planet there are continents i live in asia okay within the continent there are different countries i live in the country india okay and within india there are different states and i live in the state maharashtra within maharashtra there are different cities and i live in the city mumbai and within mumbai there are different areas and i live in the area malad west and within malad west there are different localities and i live in the locality malvani okay if franka didi is able to exp explain the alien in this way okay then the alien will be able to understand okay now the alien can say okay now i can come visit you right so in the way franka didi explained the alien the address of her similarly scientists also use a similar method to name all the organisms okay so this here is a hierarchy of biological classification you do not have to go very deep into this okay but you just have to know that these are the different classifications done so as franka didi was explaining now we live in earth planet then planet can the continents then countries then state all this right so similarly all the organisms are classified into kingdoms kingdoms are classified into phylums then we have class then we have order then we have family then we have genus and we have species okay and if you are asked 
what is the scientific name of a particular organism let's take humans for example if you are asking what is the scientific name of a human what scientists came up with is something like this the scientific name of humans will look something like this humans are of kingdom animalia of phylum chordata of class mammalia of order primates of family hominidae and genus homo and species sapiens okay so this whole thing is the name the full scientific name of human but as you see this is very long right this is very long so what the scientists did had they take the last two names and call it as a scientific name so the scientific name for a human is homo sapiens okay i think few of you have heard this name okay this is a scientific name of humans okay next i will not go deep into it but i'll give you as a homework task so all of you have internet okay so what i want you to do is you have to go to google okay and search okay you have to type the scientific name of and you have to type all this animals tiger cat mango and lemon you have to search the scientific name of each of these and fill this table okay this is your homework task so let's quickly recap what we learned today okay we learned what was evolution okay we learned what is darwin's theory of evolution and its two principle okay the first principle was survival of the fittest and the second principle was natural selection yeah and lastly we learned why and how organisms are given names the process is called as nomenclature right with this we are ending chapter number 1 okay i hope you are able to understand and um, thank you